So today what we're going to do is the cheapest rebuild possible. At least we're going to try to get as cheap as possible. No contract can go over a million dollars. Yeah, that's right. No contract can go over a million dollars. So what I should say is a yearly salary of a million dollars. Because there definitely will be contracts that go over a million dollars if they're multiple years. But the challenge is not to give a player more than a million dollars per season it's gonna be tough i don't know how we're gonna compete but it's gonna be a good one so i hope you do enjoy it if you do hit that thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content yesterday we hit 28k which is amazing i can't thank you all enough the fact that we hit 28,000 subscribers blows my mind next stop let's hit that 30k mark it'd be awesome to see other than that guys if you guys have any cheap player recommendations let me know who's that go-to cheap player that you get for franchise let me know in the comment section down below of course if you missed yesterday's video i'm gonna put a link to it in the top corner go and give it a watch we made the diamond dynasty debut so if you if you've been wanting some diamond dynasty content i'll leave a link to it in the top corner and all social media links are down in the description below i feel like it's only fitting that we take one of the smallest budgets in baseball and there's the Orioles, there's the Pirates, obviously the Rays are kind of like a modern day money ball, you've got the Athletics, but I feel like if we're going to go for like the cheapest possible team, we might as well go with the Orioles. Like I feel like that's, you know, I just feel like they're really bad, they're at the bottom of the list for payroll in MLB, and everything else is going to be the same, except for designated hitter is going to be on for everybody so there we go so i know this was an idea that was given to some given to me by somebody that it was either in the comment section i couldn't find it in the comment section i searched and then on top of that i think it might have been from the sh a stream past stream so if you do watch this video and it was you thank you i wish i could highlight your message somewhere i just couldn't find it so if you end up watching this video thank you i did still want to give you that shout out for coming up with the idea so with this team i think the big thing is just getting rid of the big contracts which suck because those are some of our best players, Chris Davis. I know some of the best players, Chris Davis, but you never really think of hearing that in the same sentence. But we got Chris Davis, Alex Cobb. We've got Trey Mancini, Michael Givens, Jose Iglesias, Wade LeBlanc, Alberto Castro. They all can't be on the team anymore. So we're going to have to go make some trades to get them off the team and see if we can get some better players. So bullpen's a big concern. Starting rotation, a big concern, obviously. Lineup, big concern. So... Let's just let's just go make some changes to the squad. Okay, so the first trade I found was Alex Cobb, DL Hall, and Chance Cisco for Roberto Perez and Fran Mil Reyes. But as you can see, Roberto Perez has two million on his contract. This was literally the smallest contract or the smallest trade I could find in terms of salary. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Roberto Perez and then we're gonna have to trade him because he's gonna be over the limit for trades but frame mill reyes that's a big move but this is not a bad trade carson kelly and luke weaver for roberto perez definitely could have tried to figure out some other trades along the way but for a catcher that can start for us right away and then also luke weaver a decent pitcher i'm okay with that all right i'm gonna pick up a san diaz from the marlins for alberto and grayson rodriguez you're probably thinking why am i getting rid of all my a potential pitchers well those two pitchers actually don't develop too well and uh now i'm just trying to figure out what i'm gonna do with chris davis because it's almost impossible to trade him for any small contract so i might just have to release him and take the hit all right i'm gonna acquire mills and wick for givens iglesias and encarnacion uh two uh, the the contracts are small that's really what i'm looking for i'm looking to at least try to get some cheapish bullpen arms and then we can kind of go from there because like the rest of the team it's it's going to be tough to work with and I, I i really don't know where we're gonna go how we're gonna improve this team i don't even know if we're even gonna make the playoffs during this rebuild that's the hardest part Alrighty, unfortunately we have to get rid of trey mancini and it sucks i'm also gonna get rid of anthony santander he's usually hit or miss with franchise anyways Pat Blake is going to get traded for Tommy Edmond. I'm going to give him a shot. I don't think I've ever really tried to give him a shot in franchise. He looked cheap. Might as well pick him up. So, uh, pitching-wise, not much to get excited about. Like, it's going to be a rough year. And besides Chris Davis, and I think if I release him, I still have to pay him for the next couple of years. Yeah. So, I'm hoping he gets claimed off waivers. That's really the only thing that's going to save us. If he doesn't, we're still going to have to pay him, which sucks. But he can't be on the team. That's really what it comes down to. All right, I'm going to pick up Felix because I still had a couple players that were pushing the pushing the limits for salary. And then um, that should make the team. It's a bad team. It's not a good team. It's going to go pretty poorly. You guys can see the roster. I'm expecting, like, maybe the worst 
amount of, or the least amount of wins in MLB history. I mean, look at this team. It's not good. It's not good. Some promising players is San Diaz, Tommy Edmond, Fran Mill, maybe Renato Nunez as well, Carson Kelly possibly, but like, man, this team's bad. 100% we're ranked last in the league. There's no way we're not. We're 28th? Who's worse than us? Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to simulate to the end of the season. I definitely need to focus on some good draft picks as well, so I'll just show you the draft picks that we get at the end of the year, and we'll just hop in from there. All right, season actually didn't go too bad. 77 and 85, you can see it up above, and... I'm actually pretty happy with that. Did we do well? No, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. We weren't the last place team, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that went. We'll take a quick look at league leaders. I know someone in the comment section asked me to slow down a little bit when we came to like the league leaders and the awards, so I'll slow it down just a little bit for you guys. I just don't want to take too much time on it, especially since we didn't win an award this year. So, And most of the players up here, we're not going to be able to get, especially in this rebuild, since you know we we can't get any expensive guys so it's difficult to see some of these top guys up there like yelich yelich would be huge to be on this team um did i also see that yelich hit 60 home runs insane we'll take a look at awards really quick we have two gold gloves for our middle infielders okay so trout won mvp in the american league yelich obviously in the national league an unbelievable 404 average 150 hold on like 404 average 152 rbis 60 home runs 47 doubles and 25 stolen bases a 1329 ops unbelievable what was trout's numbers he like you look at that and you go okay that's disgusting but then you look at yelich and you just go yeah, that's, that's pretty good, huh? That's pretty good, huh? We got Jacob DeGrom winning the Cy Young along with Garrett Cole. And then you guys can see the batting titles. Obviously, went to the MVPs with the numbers they put up. Even Will Harris. What are some of these seasons? Unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable stuff. So, there you go. There are the awards. There are the league leaders as well. And I'm kind of interested to see how we do or how we did pitching-wise. Alec Mills was fantastic. Armstrong, not too bad. Hunter Harvey was pretty bad. Tanner Scott, pretty bad. Paul Fry, pretty bad. Rowan Wick, though. Okay. So I tried to do some contract extensions throughout the year. Unfortunately, we can't get anybody on the cheap. So it's looking like we're just going to have to hope and pray we can keep these guys on like minimum contracts or we're going to have to trade them away, which would suck because some of these players I'm actually pretty cool with keeping. Like Asan Diaz, I would love to keep 26 home runs with 68 RBIs in this season would be great if we could keep him. Dwight Smith Jr. had a pretty solid season as well. If we could keep him on a low arbitration deal, that would be great. Renato Nunez put up very good numbers. If we could keep him on the cheap, that would be amazing. Same with Fran Mill, even though his OPS is kind of low. Same with Average. I still think he'd be a great player to have, especially with that pop off the bat. And then when you look at the rest of the team, you know, some of these guys are actually doing decent. Carson Kelly, not so much. He might be a player I look to trade. But overall, I'm pretty happy with some of the guys that we have. And I think we could do pretty well. So let's get into the offseason. We'll, um, yeah, let's just get into the offseason. All right, Dodgers defeat the Athletics. Athletics making a, making a push for the World Series there. Um, no one really worried about retiring. Felix, how did he do? Not terrible. I mean, I'm I'm assuming we could sign him on a pretty cheap deal. Ooh, we can't. And it's actually going to be difficult to sign people with this squad because we're not good. So not a lot of people are going to want to join us, which does suck for sure. But um, we're going to have to make sure we keep hold of our like good players. And hopefully we can sign these guys on cheap contracts as well. So I'm going to offer everybody arbitration that I can that's going to be like cheap. If arbitration awards them a contract over a million, obviously we're going to have to trade them away, which does suck, but that's just the name of the game. Contracts wise, it's going to be the same thing. If we can sign somebody on the cheap, that would be great. I don't know if we're going to though. So we're going to have to kind of pick and choose who we can and can't keep. And then of course, when we head into free agency, it, it's just really uh, about who we could get that's going to be cheap and things like that. So let me show you our draft picks we got johnny montano what a pickup a potential catcher 18 years old because easily pop into the majors within you know two seasons love this pickup might even move him to a first base spot if we need to maybe even a dh 
We've got Miguel Tavares. Again, another DH possibility. Looks really solid. First and left field um, positions as well. So there's that. We've got Felipe Sandoval. Again, really good hitting. That was the focus of this draft. Unbelievable pickups by us. We also have this guy, Michael Fong, who could actually be a long reliever. Looking at his stats, if he can get those into the 60s by the time like season three pops up, we should be good with him being a long reliever. And this guy has like mid 70s potential, which I'm still pretty happy with as well. So overall, our draft was pretty solid. This was an offer I just got offered, or the offer I just got offered, a trade I just got offered by the Padres, Jose Castillo for Cedric Mullins. I'm actually down with this trade. This is actually a really good trade. Yeah, he was pretty poor last year, but only 19 innings pitched. Good reliever for the future. Cedric Mullins, we're not going to use. All right, season two, let's take a look at the team because there are a couple players we are going to have to get rid of right away. Luke Weaver jumped up to $3 million, which was a little bit of a disappointment. He did have a pretty rough season last year, a 5 ERA with a 1.6 whip, so maybe it is best to get rid of him. And then uh, Mason Williams, who he was okay last year, but like he's not going to be our starter. And then we have a couple other guys who are starting to kind of creep up the creep up the, the money ladder. So we're going to have to keep our eyes on that for sure. But this is currently how the team looks. Not great. You know, Hildenberger was added from the Rule 5 draft. Jose Castillo through the trade. I'm probably going to throw Alec Mills here. And then I thought I signed somebody else as a reliever, but I guess I guess I didn't. So we're definitely going to have to bring back, I don't even know. Oh, I did I did bring back Richard Blyer. Is he so, I probably should bring him back up because I think he would actually be a decent arm to have in the, the bullpen for another season. And then we can figure it out from there. Um, but what I'm thinking is probably going to trade some of these guys that performed pretty bad last season and get better arms. We got to trade Luke Weaver. I think John Means somehow agreed to a $1 million deal, but arbitration is going to take him over next year. So we might trade him. And then we have like Mike Leak and Ivan Nova as our other pitchers. It's not looking good offensively though i'm pretty happy with it everybody kind of agreed to a low contract you guys can kind of see what we have um some of these players are definitely going to jump over a million next year which is going to suck but we're gonna have to figure out how that's going to work um or maybe we can just offer them a contract for like a million or something and see if they take that all right first trades for pablo lopez he's under the mark arbitration next year though probably going to jump over it and then i think there was one more player oh yeah with that left fielder we have to get rid of we're going to try it Mason Williams and Carson Kelly for Ranger Suarez, Sir Anthony Dominguez, and Davey Grullon. That's right. Davey Grullon is coming into the squad. Maybe this is the time he pops off for us. Just maybe. Just maybe. So I do need a backup catcher anyways. So we're going to have to either sign someone really bad or just, I don't know. We'll figure something out. But probably going to send another bullpen arm somewhere because these bullpen arms are pretty bad so let's see what kind of deals we can make all right we're gonna get zach brown for a starting pitcher um for tanner scott the alphabet and richard arena all right so this is the team it's not great at all i know it's not it's pretty bad i'm pretty sure john means is leaving us after this season we're just gonna stick it out see what happens with the rest of the squad as well Again, I don't feel too confident, but we didn't do too poorly last year. So, I mean, we could end up being a decent team. So, this is the squad. I might change out Mount Castle or I might leave him. I'm not too sure yet. Obviously, we do have like a couple other decent players. This guy was available in free agency as well. 73 overall. He's got decent hitting stats. And I thought, you know what? He might end up being a decent platoon player for us. So, I signed him in free agency. And like I said, we need to bring up a catcher. So let's just go sign a catcher to, to fill out the roster. It shouldn't be too expensive. Let's just do, maybe it is going to be expensive. I might just have to sign someone terrible. And hopefully he signs like a, a garbage contract. There we go. That's the squad. And uh, here we are. So you guys can see it. DJ Stewart might end up cracking the lineup. Like he's not bad. And like, I mean, look at this squad. I feel like we're actually not too bad. I feel like we could actually be kind of good. Maybe sneaky good. So I'm going to simulate the season. I'll see you guys at the end of it. All right, season two is over. And I said we might be a sneaky team. And look at that. 93 and nice. Nice amount of losses. We won the post postseason. We won the wild card spot. We're in the postseason taking on the Angels. So you know what? I'm happy with that. I, I mean, like this rebuild is already a win in my eyes. I know we're not. We're most likely not going to win the World Series. But we at least made the postseason with a super cheap team. 
we made the wild card took the number one spot in the wild card as well which is great to see and again we're we're up there we would have won some other divisions you know like looking at some of the leagues or the divisions across the league and then when we take a look at batting averages and everything like that so oh i don't even see yelich up there did he get traded or something no he's not even on the board okay but brian reynolds had quite a good season you guys can see the rest of the league leaders as we go through it 47 doubles for bogarts 13 triples for acuna okay home runs 47 for soto and 45 for Soler. was yelich even up here yeah he had 37 okay i mean i was just expecting another breakout season from yelich based on what he did last year and then when we take a look at awards we got two gold gloves once again so i, I mean i guess it's not bad trevor bauer winning mvp okay okay let's let's calm down let's calm down mlb the show trevor bauer winning mvp come on come on let's be let's be real here and you guys can see the rest of the awards as we went through them so let's take a look at our pitching staff let's see how everything went as we go through it hunter harvey as a long reliever he might be he might be that guy he might be that guy mike leak was okay you know maybe like hunter harvey is just evolving into like Mike Leak. I mean, look at look at that progression. Maybe, maybe, who knows? Jose Castillo improved. You know, hopefully he gets better as we go. Paul Fry, not that great. Trevor Hildenberger was solid. Sir Anthony Dominguez, the ER, the ERA is good. Whips a little high. Alec Mills is a setup guy though, kind of nasty, and we have him locked up for the future. Love to see it. Same with Rowan Wick, not as good. So maybe swap these two. See how that goes. Pablo Lopez probably leaving us after this year, which sucks, but there we go. Ivan Nova, not fantastic. John Means was good. Zach Brown, not great at all. Yikes. And then Ranger Suarez as a five? I'll take that. Definitely a solid season. So let's take a look at our lineup now. And on the bench, pretty, pretty abysmal. But uh, Tommy Edmonds looking good. We've got him locked up for the rest of the rebuild. Yes. Dwight Smith Jr. had another good season, but I think he's going to leave us after this year. Renato Nunez is another player I think is going to leave us as well. Franimal, same thing. You know, he had a really good year, but I just think the arbitration is going to take him over the amount. Um, I could have tried to sign him to a contract. It's just they wanted too much money. Isan Diaz, we have him locked up. I think he's going to be a good bat for us. Austin Hayes, we have him locked up. We might end up trading him for someone just because I think we could get a little bit better of a hitter. Rio Ruiz wasn't terrible. We'll see if we can keep him or not. Davey Grullon, atrocious. Rutschman's coming in or Montano, the other catcher that we have. He's definitely coming up. And then DJ Stewart had a pretty solid season. You know what? I'm pretty happy with that. We're bringing up a lot of these young guys. Sandoval, probably not. He might end up being a trade piece, even though he looks phenomenal. If we were to go like five seasons, this guy would be like a, a 90 overall, just hitting bombs for a living. We've got Rutschman, though. Probably going to be our catcher, even though we might actually trade him just to get a really, really good catcher. I know it sounds crazy, but like that might just be the move. And then looking here. Oh, no, we don't. We don't need a catcher. Montano is starting 100%. 100%. There's no doubt about it. Kerr said, maybe based on those hitting stats. And then who's the other guy? Miguel Tavares. I might call him up too, just based on his hitting stats. So there might be a couple players that get called up. Like their hitting stats are just too good not to have into the squad. So overall, you know what? We made a postseason. So I'm pretty happy with that. And let's hop into this game and see what we can do. We're going to quick manage it here and uh, let's get into it and pablo lopez versus otani and the angels so otani gives me some faith that we can make it but obviously it's a really good angels offense so we're gonna have to see how this goes upton does go deep that's tough to see but so far so good you know what i have faith i have i don't have faith anymore faith is done um four to nothing we did get three though i did quick sim that inning which was kind of disappointing because i wanted to see how that was good how we got those runs um but uh, it looks like Dwight Smith got on base and did something because everybody else is like over on the day. So I'm not too sure how we got those runs at all. But you guys can see first and second, no outs, a line out there, a fly out. Tommy Edmond couldn't bring in that run, which is we really needed that. All right, let's get a pitching change here. Jose Castillo gets us out of the inning and it sucks that we had to take him out that early. But it's just something we have to do. We got to we got to we got to get some. Uh, 
we, we just got to get our best foot forward. That's really what it comes down to. We got to get some good pitchers out there. We, we need to score another run. Can we get out of this inning? We do. All right. This is a good part of our lineup. I have faith in it. Okay, I have no faith in it. <laughs> uh, let's take him out. Let's go. Let's go Mills. And he gets us out of it. It comes down to this versus Ty Buttry. Isan Diaz gets on second. Okay. Austin Hayes pops out. Rio Ruiz brings in the tying run. Davey Grullon, come on. Give me that run. Davey Grullon proves his worth. Look at that. We win. We advance to the next round. What a game. Taking on the Yankees. So I want Pablo Lopez here. And then we'll just kind of take Zach Brown out of the equation because he was terrible throughout the season. We won 10-1. to We took Garrett Cole out of the game in an inning and two-thirds. Love to see it. Second game, we win 5 nothing. Third game, we do lose. Um, Ranger Suarez, Garrett Cole. Do we throw John Means in the mix? Because, yeah, let's do that. And let's see if we can advance this game. And we do. Wow, we're taking on the Astros. What is going on with this team? So, let's go Lopez. Let's go John Means here. And then, like, Nova. Because, like, Nova was outstanding, which is insane. So, let's go into this first game versus Tyone and the Astros. We take an 8-11 to loss. We get the second game, though. Ooh, we lose there. We lose there, and uh, I think I'm just gonna sim this one, but we'll see if we uh, we see if we can keep it alive. Boom, we do lose. The Astros just proved to be too strong, and that it makes sense. Like they're gonna be a good team. We're gonna have some struggles. The Dodgers defeat the Astros, and let's head into the postseason because this team's actually looking really good. I'm liking the looks of it. We, we actually have some really good players here, and the fact that we made it that far is really good to see i'm gonna let these two walk aging players same with holiday aging player i feel like we can just spend the money somewhere else get some better pitchers this is where i'm a little worried though 40 man maybe rondon but otherwise i'm not worried about it i have a feeling we're gonna lose a lot of these players i'm gonna offer them arbitration see if we can keep it around the million mark and then it, we'll trade them if we need to because a lot of these guys will have good trade value and then the contracts, the same thing. If I can keep it at a million, I'll keep them. If it's like 1.2, 1.3, I'll still try to keep them. And then we'll trade them. Because again, a lot of these guys have some good trade value. Final season, we came a little bit short last year in the postseason. And of course, we're in some trouble. Big trouble. Like, holy cow. Renato Nunez, Pablo Lopez, John Means, Fran Mill, Dwight Smith, Rio Ruiz, Hildenberger, and I tried to sign Trey Mancini in the Rule 5 draft, but his arbitration offer was just over a million, which I was like, dang. I tried to bring him back, couldn't get him back. So Anthony Dominguez, that's a lot of players from our starting lineup that need to be traded. So like, wow, we're in some trouble. I'm gonna have to make some deals to make this happen because what, we're about to lose. Oh, John Means, I mentioned him too. So we're about to lose two starting pitchers. I need to get rid of Zach Brown as well. Our bullpen, we're about to lose two of them. And then in our lineup, we're missing Dwight Smith, who's one of our better hitters. Renato Nunez, one of our better hitters. Fran, uh, Fran Mill, and then Trey Mancini. Like, wow, uh, we're about to lose a lot of players. That's, uh, that's going to be so tough. We do have DJ Stewart, who's been decent. You know, that catcher's been brought up. Uh, Griffin Conine was available. I think he's going to be a decent replacement or like a DH. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm just going to try to find some players that we could use and just see what we can find. It's going to be tough to find some really good replacements, but I mean, we have to. It's the cheap skate rebuild. First trade is for Devin Smeltzer. I want Zach Brown gone. We're going to go for Aaron Savale. I think this is who I want. Zach Plesak has similar stats, but slightly. I don't know. We're going to go Savale. I mean, we need pitching. Savali's the move. I'm just going to take Zach Plesek as well. I mean, we we need pitching. Like I've said, we might as well get him. All right. Now to get rid of all the bullpen arms, which sucks because I don't really know who to get. Are we just going to raid the, the Indian staff? Brent Martin? All right. We're going to get Brent Martin from the White Sox, formerly of the Rangers. I don't... Who else do we need to get rid of? Hildenberger. All right. We're going to take Jimmy Cordero. 
And then now it's just all offensive players at this point. So I'm going to try to get some really good ones because we have a lot of extra players for the lineup. So let's see what we can find. Normally, I don't trade within a division. I'm going to go for Yoshi Satsugo, though. He can play third base. I'm looking for a third baseman. This is the move I'm going to make. All right. So just so you guys can kind of get an idea of like what I'm working with in this franchise, I'm going to show you just some of the teams and like the ratings and the players because like and the the salaries because like there is not a lot of options that i can trade for obviously i'm looking for like a right fielder or just an outfielder at this point and there's not a lot of good options that are cheap like everything's above a million joe adele i know is not ready right now and then like maybe jake cave maybe jake cave could be a sneaky move uh, so that's one I'm gonna keep my eye on but like as I'm going through all these different players You can see 1.2 for Mercado 1.7 for angle. It's not a big one though Dominguez not ready as a hitter yet. So as you can see like there's just not a lot of options that I can go for and that's what's kind of killing everything so I've been looking around I've been checking teams here and there and man my options are limited All right, I'm gonna try Fran Mill for Harold Ramirez. That's one move and then the twins move was also kind of interesting to me so i might as well pick him up as well i'm gonna trade renato nunez Ooh, that's actually a lot can i get mancini in that deal instead and then maybe just throw in you know like an extra player there boom all right i'm gonna get eric swanson i still need one more trade i'm gonna try to find a really good hitter i just really want a good hitter in the team especially since we're losing so many so renato nunez He's getting shipped somewhere. Aristides Aquino is the highest rated player that's not on our team that has a under 1 million salary. The only other player is uh, Arias. That's the only other player. So let me get the team sorted out. I'll even show you. 1 million maximum salary. Uh, boom. Look at this. We have like all the top players under a million salary. That's insane. That's what it is. I'll show you the team. All right, so after all those moves, this is the team. I'm not confident. This is worse than last year. I mean, we have young players that I expect to develop, so we might actually get kind of lucky. But you know what? Actually, the more I look at it, maybe the confidence is starting to grow. But this is the team. Offensively, I think it looks a lot better. Edmund, Sutsugo. I don't actually want Sutsugo that high in the lineup. I'm probably going to go like... Mm, let's go Ramirez... Maybe Sutsugo there. And uh, maybe like cave there and go like that. Actually, that's not bad. I kind of like that. So the season's over. It didn't work. Changes were not good enough. Didn't make the postseason. 86 and 76 though, it's not bad. It's not terrible. Let's take a look at the standings. You know, 20 games out. The Yankees just ran away with it. And as you look at the rest of the league, you can kind of tell who was getting better. And, like, it's really, really tough. And, I mean, we missed out by two and a half games. It is so tough to make a team with players that only have a million dollar contracts. A million and below. It is so tough. So, here you guys go. Here are the league leaders. And, I mean, oh, I can't believe it. Just couldn't make it this last season. Which is really, really disappointing. But, it makes sense. Like, players are able to join teams and they're and like those teams are able to pay them a lot of money and we're not allowed to do that because we we don't have that money we can only spend a million dollars on a player Tavares is the rookie of the year and then we had some gold gloves as well MVP for Garrett Cole and Juan Soto and then Fran Mill of course pops off with the Marlins when we couldn't keep them <sighs> that's tough that one hurts that one hurts a lot but Unfortunately, it looks like this is where we're going to end the rebuild. We did get a rookie of the year, though. Oh, okay. I didn't even notice that the first time it popped up. So, we can see pitching. You know, I, it just looks like pitching kind of... The bullpen actually was pretty solid. Like, really solid. Bullpen was really good. It just looks like starting pitching allowed quite a few runs. And that's maybe where we kind of fell off. I'm interested to see how the lineup did. Tommy Edmond was okay, not the best leadoff hitter, not as good as he was last year. Harold Ramirez was pretty solid, actually really solid, almost 30 home runs. Satsugo, only 19 home runs, but 40 doubles, and a good year, 300 average. Aquino, yikes, you know, yikes, uh, Jake Cave was alright, actually pretty good, 22 home runs. So we just, 
we weren't a bad team. We just weren't good enough. Johnny Montano. Oh, yikes. Oh, boy. But Tavares looks like a great first baseman. Attributes through the roof. That is first baseman for the foreseeable future. And then when you see the rest of the team, yeah, it just looks like we just weren't good enough. And if we had some extra money to spend, we definitely could have competed with other teams 100%. All right, so that's how it's going to end. Couldn't make the postseason, but we actually put together a pretty good team. And to be honest, to be to put together this team with only a million dollars for a salary for each player, unbelievable. And we actually made the postseason and we were just what? A series away from making the world series which is incredible so i hope you did enjoy the cheapest rebuild possible and if you did make sure you hit that like button down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content and of course guys get in the comment section let me know your cheap option that you go to in franchise other than that guys i'll catch you all in the next video i'm gonna leave you with two on screen now so if you haven't seen either of these go give them a watch and that's it guys peace